Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a trying new makeup. My favorite videos to film. I feel like you guys are really enjoying them. I'm loving doing them and when I think back, I used to be so afraid to kind of sit and do my makeup. I used to do voiceovers a lot and just it's come full circle where you guys were like, do some, you know, talking, try some new makeup and now it's like my favorite to film. So I have a bunch of new products. I'm going to show you some of the main ones. The Pure 4-in-1 uh, Selfie Foundation. This is the 100 shade foundation. You guys seem to really want to see a review on this. This is a first impression. Uh, you can see it applied, all of that, and then obviously I will move on with my full review in a couple weeks. I have this Instant Matte Pore Refining YSL Primer. This is a mini size I got from the sale. I have the Pure um, Bronzers, which, you know, somewhat new. I have a blush from Sugar Rush. This is a cream blush. I can't say for sure if I'm going to use this, but I do want to try it. Also have these new Huda Beauty Tan Tour. These are cream, bronzer, contours, Patrick Ta spray, highlighter, as well as his glosses. Again, I think I'm going to use all that. And then I also wanted to demo this Huda Beauty uh, nymph body highlighter. I have some thoughts on this because I played around with it behind the scenes. So first impressions, a bunch of new stuff. Uh, so yeah, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and let's go ahead and jump in. All right, I've zoomed you in. Obviously, I'm self-tan on my body, not on my face. I'm going to start off with my Sun and Park Beauty Filter Cream Glow. I mentioned this in a last video that I did. This is something that I bought a long time ago. I think this is a Korean beauty brand. And this is a product that I love. It's just one of my kind of go-to, I would say moisturizer, but also gives you some glow under your foundation without being um, tacky or greasy. This is good if you have like combo skin. And it has like a pink iridescence to it, but it's just nice, pretty kind of like that filter veiled look. So I've uh, really enjoyed this. It kind of went to the back of my top drawer. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just go back to this. So I'm gonna apply this as kind of a moisturizer all over the skin. So for my pores, I'm gonna use this Instant Matte Pore Refiner from YSL. I did pick up the mini size during the sale because I wanted to try it out. I'm always on the hunt for something to make my pores look smaller. So it looks like this, it kind of reminds me, well, it looks sort of sheer with a milky cast. Oh, YSL, it has that scent very heavily fragranced. If you don't like that, you will not enjoy this. It's like that floral scent. I don't know why they insist on that. I know that it's like high end, but keep that in your perfumes, you know? Doesn't feel like a silicone primer. I'm kind of interested in if this is gonna really help the pore area. So moving on to the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Long Wear Foundation and Concealer. I have the shade MG5. I did get this off Ulta. Now there's 100 shades, but not on Ulta. It's kind of confusing. There's 40 on Ulta, 100 on the Pure website. Let me read the claims about this just so I am kind of aware. So this claims it has a natural skin-like finish, conceals blemishes, dark spots, and imperfections with the Dofa applicator, or achieve flawless all-day coverage with the pump. Long wear formula helps protect skin against environmental stressors uh, for a healthy looking complexion. So really all I'm seeing there is that they're kind of marketing it as a concealer or a foundation. Again, I touched on this in the last video that I talked about this. You can't use the same shade, so you're gonna have to buy two if you're gonna use it that way, but it does have a pump on the top, which typically would be foundation-like, and then it also has a doe foot, which you can use to spot conceal or to actually conceal. I'm just gonna use a doe foot and apply to my skin because that's my preferred method. We will do a brush on one side and then a beauty blender on the other, and we'll see what we think. I haven't seen many gurus talking about this, so I am curious. I'm going to start with just one side. So I'm just going to use this IT Cosmetics brush. I feel like the shade match is going to be pretty good. Which, hallelujah, because I ordered it on Ulta and you really just never know. Okay, it almost feels like you, if you're someone that doesn't set, you might not set this. So that's the one side with the brush. I'm gonna go in with a uh, my beauty blender on this side. Coverage is definitely good, so that's the first thing I'm noticing. Feels a little dry. I will say, if you have dry skin, I'm just feeling a little bit of dryness. It could be just applied with the brush. Let me see. 
Coverage is great though. Okay, so you get a little bit less coverage with the sponge, which is expected, but really not much less. It does look a little bit more natural with the sponge. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a second layer. Just basically in areas I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. Now again, for every day I wouldn't be building it like this, but because we're doing full glam, it does look quite smooth on the skin, which is nice. But again, it looks almost like it's dried down to a powder. Not in a super like dry, clingy way, just almost like it sets down itself. I always set my foundations, doesn't matter what it is, but if you're somebody that doesn't set, I honestly don't know if you'd have to set this. So this is what the kind of two layers of foundation looks like. I am pretty blown away. Now again, if this falls apart in a few hours, then it's a no-go, but wow, it looks really airbrushed, really smooth. I can't like describe it. It's almost like like a powdery dry down, but not in a clinging way. So I feel like if you are dry, you're gonna wanna use some moisturizing products with this, but wow, my skin looks pretty good. I mean, I'm really looking at it like, I'm not mad at this. It looks really nice. It kinda looks like my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Probably a little bit more smoothing. So next we're gonna go into the contour. This is the Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream from Huda Beauty. I just got these. There's a brush that comes with it. Now I think she says to use this side to apply it and then use this side to blend it out. I'm gonna try that. If it doesn't work, I will use my Beauty Blender. I am gonna grab the shade Light. There's five shades and they run dark. So for me, I would usually say like, oh, I'll go for medium, but when I looked at them, light seemed like the right shade for me. Now again, it might be too light and it might kind of sheer out. We're just gonna try it out. It comes with a little topper thing to keep the product from drying out. This is what the light shade appears like, appears like, looks like. So we're just gonna go ahead and do what she suggests. A little, a little nervous here. I'm gonna apply some in the areas that I would essentially contour. And I'm gonna start with one side just because she said you have time to play, but I don't know. I feel a little nervous about that. Once stuff starts sticking down, you're kind of like really screwed. So she said to like buff it in. So I'm using a stippling motion and then kind of circular motions, which is what she recommended. So there is the one side. I don't know if that's too light. I'm going to go in with the medium and just wing it because I just don't know if that even looks like I've contoured on this side. You guys have to let me know in the comments. I'm going to go into the medium. Again, they look dark in the actual container, but I'm wondering if they just blend out lighter. So this is what the medium looks like, which looks pretty dark for me, but maybe it's going to work. So I'm going to do the same situation. Wonder if it's something like that Charlotte Tilbury where, what is it, like the sculpt in... I forget what it's called, but it appears really dark, but then it kind of blends. It's really forgiving when you blend it. Okay, so looking at the two sides, I definitely see this side is a little bit more defined. Maybe medium is more of a contour shade for me. The light seems warmer, but not dark enough for my self tan right now. It blends okay, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender and just go right into the product and try to use it that way. And it could just be this foundation, like I said, kind of sets down. This is not a super dewy foundation. I feel like I look patchy. This is my issue with all cream products. They just get patchy. It could be this foundation again, but I felt like I looked pretty good before. I'm gonna actually take the foundation and just kind of clean up here because I feel like something happened there. I'm just not a big fan of cream products because of this because I have patchiness in areas that I didn't have it before. So I'm gonna have to play around with those. I feel kind of like disappointed a little bit. 
Gonna jump into concealer. I don't have a new concealer. I'm gonna use my Jeffree Star C6 just because I know I like the formula. Also gonna go ahead and set with my fair powder. I don't have a new loose powder to use. So brows are on. I'm gonna go in for eyes. I wanna use this ColourPop Gel Eyeliner. I recently saw Mariah Leonard use the purple one and I did it and it was so easy and I thought, let me just demonstrate it for you guys. If you want like an easy, beautiful kind of spring look, you can use any of these. This is the cream gel color in Get Paid. I thought this was a nice kind of coppery bronze shade. So I'm just gonna use kind of like a flat brush and truly just apply it to the lid and it literally wears all day. I haven't used this actual shade yet, but they apply it very creamy and then they set and they don't crease. These are actually really, really nice. I gotta get my, my mirror closer. So obviously these are eyeliners, but I'm using it as like an all over lid color. So when I did this last time, I just kind of applied it and then on the edges, just drag down to blend. The one I used before was a matte shade. This is a shimmer, so we will see if this works. So I didn't use this when I used the matte gel liner, but I feel like I need it with this. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is the LA Girl hot hot heat eyeshadow palette and I just need to use some of this to kind of put in the crease this is already set but I want a little bit more dimension again I didn't really need to do this with the kind of lilac shade I used so I'm just kind of blending this out For lashes, I'm gonna use these Lash Addict Lashes. This is one of my subscribers. She started her own business. I have the style Hey Boo, so I will leave her Instagram down below where you can order. But I'm gonna pop these on, and yeah, we're gonna finish off the face then. I feel like I'm struggling a little bit today. I'm, I'm loving the foundation, some of the other products. I'm like, what is happening? All right, so I popped my lashes on, and now I'm gonna go in with this Pure Bronzing Act Matte Bronzer in the shade Light. I wanna see if this is gonna show up on my skin tone. I'm gonna to use that new brush that I got from Real Techniques. I'm a little bit nervous with my self tan. This is gonna to be too light, which is what I'm kind of seeing right now. Yeah, this is very, very, very kind of forgiving. I knew I should have gotten that darker shade. I mean, it's giving me some warmth, but it's just not enough for how tan I am right now. This would be good if I was not self-tanned. It's, it's definitely giving me something, but I just feel like I'm working hard to get there. Okay, I'm going to jump in and try this out. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It in Medium, just because the pure one is just a little bit light. I'm kind of bummed that I did that because it was expensive too. Yeah, this one's a little bit more in the right tone. I actually really like this L'Oreal bronzer. It's a nice kind of olive toned bronze and I have the shade medium again. It does have some glitter in the actual pan but I'm not really seeing it translate on the skin so I actually really like this. I wish I would have gotten that pure in a darker shade. Moving on to blush. This is a cream blush from the Sugar Rush brand which is a sister brand of Tarte. This is in the shade Beach Cheeks. This is called the Beaches and Cream Blush. I am going to attempt to apply this on powder just because I feel like if it doesn't apply on powder, then I'm not going to enjoy it. So I'm gonna use kind of like a stippling brush and grab some of the product, put a little bit on the back of my hand, 
and I'm just going to use the lightest pressure. I think a lot of times cream products are really scary because if you get a bunch on your brush and then you just go in, it can really grab and look really patchy. So you literally want to apply it, if you can see, I'm kind of blending it on the back of my hand and then the lightest pressure. I'm not trying to sweep it or blend it, I'm literally just placing it and then you can go in with like your bronzer brush. It does feel a little bit tacky so just keep that in mind but I feel like it applied beautifully. So to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to go in with these two shades right here and just put a tiny bit on the lower lash line. I really just want to focus on the skin today and that's kind of where my taste has kind of gone is more on the natural eye side. Just kind of not spending so much time trying to get this like intricate eye. Moving on to highlighter, I want to use this Patrick Ta We Love Her Major Glow Highlighting Mist. This is the pink one and I really want to use this. I'm a little bit afraid to spray it straight on the face because it's, I mean, it's going to grab wherever you go. So I think I'm going to start off with a brush, spraying this on a brush and then kind of blending it in and then seeing if I want to go in full, you know, spray. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the brush and then I'm going to, again, very lightly kind of stipple. Fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on. Ooh, okay, maybe I don't need to use my hand. All right, I've applied it to this brush, I'm gonna try this. I think this is just trial and error. If you're using it on somebody else, it's a lot easier to know where you're placing it, but when you're spraying it, your natural reaction is to like close your eyes and wince, and you're like, oh crap, am I getting it everywhere? So this is definitely like a lit from within glow. It's really beautiful. So I went ahead and applied my Dior, these two shades for my nose, just because that spray is not precise enough. I do like it. It's very kind of glowy, natural from within. So I do like it. I think there's a learning curve in how to apply it, but it's beautiful if you like more of a natural look. So I'm now applying a little bit of ColourPop Sphinx. It's a beautiful spring pink. And I also did line my lips with Charlotte Tilbury Nude Cake because it's one of my favorites. And I want to go in with one of the Patrick Ta glosses. Let's just go for it. I'm going in with Is She Younger Than Me, which is like a peachy pink. These are supposed to be really glittery. But they really show up kind of sheer. Mmm, they feel good too. They're not super sticky. I do love a sticky gloss, I have to admit, but I'm going to take a little bit of She's Expensive. Why not? So now that I have my makeup on, I want to show you guys the new Huda Beauty uh, body highlighter. This is the Nymph Not Your Mama's Pantyhose. I think that's what it is. So this is the shade Aphrodite. Aphrodite. And let me tell you about this product. So this product is very shimmery. It kind of gives you like a bronze color as well. So it's like a mix between the Vita, Vita Laba, Vita Liberata body blur with like a glow product inside. But this can be drying. So the way I'm going to apply it is I'm going to use some of my Kiehl's body oil. This is a dry body oil because I need moisture. I would highly recommend mixing this with any type of, type of moisturizer or anything like that. If you apply it just like straight on your skin, it will be too kind of, what is it, like tin manny, and it also will grab. So I'm going to spray a couple sprays, just like three. This is just a dry body oil. I love my Iconic London brush. Just kind of blend that in, and then I'm going to go in and put literally probably half of a pump on my Iconic London brush. Okay, so I applied a little bit to the brush. You do not need a lot because look at this. This is like high pigment stuff and it can be too much and it's really drying if you don't mix it. I think that's the whole kind of water resistant situation. So do you see how it made me tanner too? And this is the shade Aphrodite, which I'm, I'm, I think it's the middle shade. When you look at it, you're like, oh, it's a pretty gold. 
it's a bronze so there's three shades but I mean it definitely you can tell it gives you that kind of beautiful luminescence but a little bit goes a long way I'm telling you just listen a little bit goes a long way cut it with something moisturizing but I mean it definitely does its job and it's dried down it feels like the Vita Liberata body blur with extreme it's like if you took the Vita Liberata body blur which is a matte kind of perfecting bronzing almost like a body makeup and you add it in extremely intense like the iconic London illuminating drops if you meshed those two that's what this is but it is drying I think it's meant for more of like a body makeup it's meant to be long wearing so just keep that in mind but it does what it says it's gonna do all right guys here's my finished makeup look and I'm gonna go over my thoughts on the products starting with the YSL top secrets instant matte pore refiner I feel like my pores look pretty nice now again it could be the foundation but I like the texture of this it doesn't feel silicone -y. it's like a gel lotion mix and I feel like it did a nice job in my T-zone smoothing things out. Again, the foundation, I'll get to that. But so far, so good. I just wish they would chill on the fragrance. My favorite product I tried today is the Pure Foundation. I am shocked at how beautiful this foundation is. I was a little bit nervous because, again, I'm very finicky. My skin's very finicky. A lot of times foundations don't have enough coverage or they just enhance my texture or they don't stay on. Now, again, this is a first impression, so I'm going to wear it all day. I'll keep you guys updated. But... This feels like it's not going anywhere. It feels comfortable. It is smoothing, very smoothing, great coverage. I think this is going to be a winner. So we're going to keep playing around with it, but this is probably the product that I'm most excited about just in terms of the way that my skin is looking. I feel like it looks beautiful. The Huda Beauty Tantors, I'm not sure. Again, I'm using all new products, so it could be just these need to be used with maybe something that's a little bit more dewy, maybe a little bit more creamy. I did feel like it gets a little bit patchy and I feel that with a lot of cream products, cream bronzers, which is why I don't typically use them so it could be an issue with me. They don't necessarily feel dry, I just felt patchy. They lifted in some areas and stuck in others. I will keep playing around with these, play with different techniques, um, using a sponge, using different brushes, but I just don't know if this foundation is a bit too matte and too powdery for these so we'll keep playing around but I'm undecided on these right now. The ColourPop gel liners I do like. I actually prefer the matte ones though. When I use the, I think it's called Baby Girl, it's like a lilac color. I didn't have to use any other shadows. I just put it on my lid and that was it. This uh, metallic one seemed to get a little bit crumbly on the lid so in hindsight I would have buffed a kind of tan shade in my crease and then put this on the lid afterwards. But again, I didn't have to do that with the matte one. So I do recommend these. Just know that you want to apply all your stuff first and then apply this so you're not blending and kind of making it crack. Now, I only used a couple shades of this, but this is the LA Girl Hot Hot Heat Eyeshadow Palette. I really think this is beautiful so far. The mattes blend beautifully, so maybe I'll play around with this in another video to come. I've used the mattes a couple times off camera too, and they blend beautifully. I just haven't used the shimmers or enough of the palette to really give you my thoughts. Pretty bummed out about the pure bronzer. I had a feeling when I saw it I should have gotten the deeper shade. Tati appears tan on her videos, so I'm kind of shocked that she can use this and get enough color from it. I think I love the formula just from the way it blended, but I need a deeper shade. So that's kind of a bummer. I'll probably declutter this, unfortunately, but I do actually like this L'Oreal Lumi Bronze. I mean, it has glitter in it, but on the face, it's just a nice pretty tan look so I do prefer this just because of the color but I can tell the formula on the pure is actually really nice. Pretty surprised with how much I like this Sugar Rush cream blush. It's very creamy in the pan but it applied beautifully over my powder as you saw. Just make sure you're not swiping or dragging. You want to use a stippling whether that's your finger or that's a brush. You also don't want to dig in and then start stippling and you'll get patchiness. Make sure you're blending on the back of your hand to diffuse the product. So I do like it. I think they have two different shades but honestly I would wear this again because I can put it over powder. That's a big thing for me. The Patrick Ta spray highlighters are beautiful. They are not chunky, glittery. It's like a lit from within glow. If you like more of a subdued glow don't be afraid to try this because it's not like your typical highlighter where it's like a stripe this is like a diffused 
I don't know, like just lit from within kind of color. I want to try the white one next. This is like the pinky one. I feel like the white one will be a little bit more intense, but still kind of like that just dewy look, not the I have a stripe of highlighter on my face look. Moving on to the Patrick Ta glosses. The packaging is gorgeous and the shades are beautiful. They're a little sheer for my taste. These are very natural, glowy, glossy, wet looking glosses. Thin formula, uh, just more comfortable. If you don't like like a tacky gloss, I enjoy really kind of sticky like a lip gloss or a pigmented gloss like the Lorac glosses or the KKW bronze has a little bit more shimmer in there. I do wish that the shimmer was a little bit more intense on the lips, but these are really comfortable. This is more like, again, that effortless, beautiful, glowy look, which I think ties in with his brand overall. And I'm really excited to see what other products he comes out with. And then lastly, the Huda Beauty Nymph Body Illuminator. This is an intense product product a little goes a long way and you have to cut it with moisturizer you just have to moisturizer or oil just as you saw I did a little bit goes a long way I, I feel like you would seriously you would have to like douse your body in this every day to go through it but I think people are going to buy this and try to apply it like the Fenty or just even the Patrick Ta oil and they're going to be like oh my god it's grabbing it's tin man less is more cut it with a moisturizer and I think it'll do its job if you're looking for something that's going to give you the healthy glow but not be sticky and kind of dry down to like a mousse also giving you a little bit like of a self tan I think you would like this but just please don't pump like four pumps on and then put it all over and you're like I look dry it's emphasizing my lines it looks like a tin man less is more all right guys that is it for me in this trying new makeup I hope you guys enjoyed this more glowy you know, natural glam look. Let me know if you've tried these products or what you're interested in picking up. And I will update you guys coming up in a first impression follow-up. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.